of soldiers returning home wearing wooden overcoats melancholy parade can you see the difference that they've made no more gods and no more masters take the deaths and put them past us scattered voices strike a chord put your guns down and sheathe your swords put your guns down and sheathe your swords <laughs> We take two questions and then we're going to be done. Right on. Yes, right here. Hi, um, huge fan, obviously. Thank you. And I'm a female guitarist. Any advice for females who are actually trying to be good guitarists in this industry? What an absolute landmine of a question. <laughs> so you need to repeat it so everybody knows. She, she said, I am a female guitarist, and what advice do you have for female guitarists? In terms of getting better. There is absolutely no way to answer that in a way that, I mean, I, I would love, if it were you and I hanging out, I would like wager some guesses, but I, I, I think this is the same for everybody. I have to imagine the ergonomics are the same. I, I, I well, you could tell me, is there, do you feel like there's, a, and I'm not trying to uh, corner you, do you feel like there is a natural difference of like, would the guitar be thought of as a sport in the sense that it, a, a, a fem females have a different ergonomic or, or pressure sensitive thing they're doing with the guitar? I think maybe it's more the idea of a woman playing something that maybe is the shape of a woman's body. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, there you go. So the, Paul, the are they comfortable for a woman? Okay. Look, there, there, is, is, comfortable. there is a record being released on Steve Vai's label today of 10 female guitar players, one per. Yeah. You gotta remember, Rhonda Smith has been through three Jeff Beck tours. This thing with uh, female guitar players in Prince's yeah. band is getting stronger by the day. And I'm seeing it on Instagram. And Instagram is, you know, Twitter is a place for humor, and Instagram is a place for now with the uh, the, the minute long video. It is a place for musicians to get hurt. Not even so much bands. It wouldn't, it doesn't work. You know, you, you can't really get a song on Instagram. So what people are playing guitar. And I, and I search, I was, I've said this before, I search my name on Instagram. It's the only search I do is of my own name on Instagram. And I mean, I do other searches, but the only search of my own name is on Instagram. And I'm seeing dozens of day. I'm watching every single one. So just, you know, if there's somebody playing guitar and and they're, you know, they're very obvious thumbnails. You can see the way that it looks when someone's playing. If someone's playing the guitar and my name is in the hashtag, I'm watching it. And I'm seeing more female guitar players. I wish I knew them by name, but there's one girl who plays incredible. She's in, she's, she hangs out in front of a Led Zeppelin album cover on the wall. And, and forgive me for not knowing her name. Maybe throw it in there if you find it. But, and she's playing great. She's playing great. And then not introduced you to a girl who's playing great. I mean, Moreover than, than than females, I look at it more like young people playing the guitar. Yeah. There is no reason culturally right now for a young person to play a guitar just based on reading sort of what's culturally on the surface. Uh, that speaks to the power of a guitar that once you find it, you go, I gotta do this. And I'm seeing now, if we look at everything in sort of a plantation system, we're looking at the seed that started maybe five, six years ago, if people wanted to get back into guitar. And we'll look at them right now as in the middle process of not having record deals yet, but not being beginners. They're all on Instagram and they're playing great. They'll cover my song within 12 hours, of, within two, you know, two hours of my putting a song out and have it down, you know? It really is very inspiring. And I'm not sure how this plays out into the market sort of aspect of things and metrics, but yeah. in terms of uh, the art form, I think it's completely alive and well. And, and that's why it's a, it's that's why I watch Instagram all the time. I love watching people play. Mateus Sato was here, he's playing his ass off. He's one of the best guitar players around. Then his stage is his Instagram. You know, I mean he plays his own music and he plays in Tori Kelly's band, but where I found him, he sold one of the guitars he plays to me. I bought it because I watched him play it. It, that power is still there. The power of watching another guitar player and going, oh shit. Or the power of watching a guitar player going, what pedal is that? 
I went and saw Michael Landau play there. Phenomenal guitar player. I just sat there. I drove myself in the middle of the night to go sit and sit on a stool alone and watch Michael Landau. And I want to know what pedal he's got. And I'm, I've been doing this for a living for a long time, and I've got a lot of pedals, and I, I want to know what he's got. Yeah. So it's alive and well, and I just want to know now if Paul I would ever think of making a breast-sensitive guitar. I, I, have you thought about right, So what you don't know is when we came out with the hollow bodies, all these women started to buy them because it was ergonomically sat well with There them. you go. The little hollow body that we made. Yeah. So can we now say that all PRS guitars are universally fitted? <laughs> Next question. I began to look closely at my skin. 